Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Terry. We're just going to do, um, I think we're going to pull, just pull a few cards for basically each sign. I think that's what we're going to do. So. We'll just pull a few for the upcoming weekend. We can do that. Okay, we we'll start with Aquarius. Okay, we got the Four of Swords. And our deck wanted to plummet. Okay, Aquarius, thinking hard on something. Thinking hard on something. Look what's on the bottom. I'm drawn to it. Thinking hard about someone. Moving forward. Wanting to move forward with someone. Yeah. Wanting forward movement. I think that's what this weekend is going to be about for you, for some Aquarius, is putting effort towards a connection to get movement started. Yeah. Because this feels like, this card feels like actually, you know, like thinking about it, like yeah, doing the mind work and then actually doing it and then the movement. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, I got Aquarius. Libra. King of Pentacles. Taking on the King of Pentacles energy. That's a good energy. I feel emotion. Four of Pentacles. Ah, okay. This is a good energy you're taking on. Got a lot of emotion here for someone. Someone that you're holding dear to your heart. Someone that you feel a very strong connection with, Libra. And you actually see the Ten of Cups with this person. You feel like you could go forward with them. So, therefore, it, it's dear to your heart. It's awesome. So, that's awesome for this weekend. For some Libra out there. Okay. Now, let's go to Gemini. Eight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. 
Okay. Okay. Communication. Communication going out. Someone is wanting to offer a pentacle. They're wanting to offer something tangible. They're wanting to offer something that you can wrap your hands around, that you can you can touch. I feel like a new beginning. This could also be for work related. Emails going out, a new job offer that's that feels right. Growth in a area of your work. or a relationship. So that's awesome, Gemini. So that looks positive so far. So far we, we're looking positive on all of our signs. Next is fire. We're going to go to, let's see, we're going to go to Aries. Ah, the lovers. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Eight of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Dealing with a lover here. Keeping yourself in your head about them. There's a need to, you know, go with the flow. That's what I'm getting, yes. Go with the flow. Um, bring the balance back to, the, to this connection. You need to bring the balance back. You're going to have to go with the flow and stop trying to control and stop getting in your head, um, keeping yourself trapped and stuck. You need to just, just let it go. Just go with the flow with this, with this person. Let the balance return to the connection so that it can, it can unfold naturally the way it should. Okay, Aries, that, that was, that's pretty good reading, I think, overall. Okay, next, Leo. For our Leos. Okay. Nine of Cups. Mm. Okay. Leo, I feel like, you, you know, for one, you've got a lot of emotion for someone. And I feel like you want, you want this to be a fulfillment. You want this to yeah, to be fulfilling to you, but, you know, with this, <laughs> with our Seven of Swords, I'm, I'm feeling there, you know, there's something that's not quite right, and I feel like you see that, there's something you don't trust, there's, there's something within a connection that, yeah, it's got you looking at the past. It's got you looking back. Um, what I'm feeling is comparing. Comparison. Yes. Um, 
That's what I'm getting. So, you know, you need to, to honestly really see this with clarity. So, I feel like that's why you are looking back to to compare and and I feel like just you know follow your intuition um, use clarity within this connection okay that was for Leo now Sagittarius 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 Sag okay Sagittarius Page of Cups. Hmm. Somebody offering some emotion here. And someone wanting to move forward. Oh, and there's balance. Okay, I feel like, you know, this is either you, Sag, or someone is offering you some emotion. Now, we do have this fish in here. You know, that looks... <laughs> it's emotion yeah a fish out of water I feel like you know with this fish being out of water I feel like this might be a little bit of how you feel this you know this person may be different than than what you are used to and you feel a little bit like a fish out of water um, because you're used to a different type of person how a different person treats you and um, I feel like you really feel like you're a fish out of water but there's so much emotion here I mean we've got the water there I'm drawn to and the water here this is feelings this is um, yeah this is a giving of feelings strong feelings for someone and you know with our knight of wands I feel like it's going forward. I feel like it's moving forward quickly. And I feel like there's balance. There is balance to the connection. So that is awesome. An awesome, awesome read, Sagittarius. Oh, and what we got on the bottom? The sun. The yes card. Also nice and shiny. Okay, next. Water. We move to water. We will start with Cancer. Whoop, they're trying to drop out before I ever get started here. Okay. Ah, Six of Pentacles. Magician. And, oh my goodness, our Six of Wands. Well, Cancer. It looks like there, you know, there's an equal giving. There's an equal giving. Um, I feel like in a connection. I feel like there's balance. It's equal. It, you know, it feels right. Yes. And I also feel like this, you know, this is, yeah, it's manifesting, basically. I mean, it's pulling from within to, to bring, for me, what I'm getting is I'm drawn to these flowers. Growth, and I feel like in a, a relationship blossoming. Growing and blossoming. That's what I get, yes, yes. And then, you know, we've got over here, we've got our Six of Wands. That's, that's victory. That's success. Uh, I'm grown, uh, oh, not grown. <laughs> I am drawn to the green, which tells me growth. I'm also drawn to that water back there. That's emotion. 
So this is growth in, within a connection. It's awesome. That's awesome, Cancer, for whoever that is for. Now on to Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. There's Scorpios. Scorpio. Scorpio. Don't don't drop them, please. Oh, there they went. It dropped them. It dropped them. It dropped them. I'm not. Oh. Yep, it dropped them all. Okay. Scorpio. Hmm. Hangman. Six of Pentacles. The Sun. Okay, Scorpio. I feel like you've been doing some decision making. I feel it's almost like um, you know if you see it's. <laughs> That makes me think of a light bulb. <laughs> it's like one of those light bulb moments, you know, and you, you just, yeah. It's like you've decided something. You, you got this, this bright ideal, and you've decided something. I feel like, you know, there's equal give and take. There is balance. I feel like this is a relationship. I really do. I mean, it could, it could be work. It could be, you know, it does not have to be love. But, yeah, I feel like this is a connection that you are indecisive over. But you, it's like, yeah. You know, and the sun cards here, that's the yes. That's your answer, the yes card. You know, I feel like um, there will be growth, whether this is work-related, family-related, or love or romance related there will be growth the sun is brightening the day so that's awesome scorpio either way you look at it whether it's you know work or relationship in any type okay pisces for our pisces out there pisces what do we got for pisces Passes, passes. Passes. Okay. Three of Wands. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. You know. I'm getting that you're you you it see he's watching for his ship to come in. You know, this feels so much like you are you're pondering over someone. It's like you're waiting. You're you're, you're there's thinking, there's yes. Deliberating, yes. But you know, there's a feeling of with our five of pentacles of being alone you know there's two people here but I feel alone cold not where you want to be and I feel like you know you want to move towards someone you want some movement but you know that's within you there's no reins as you can see you have to go within yourself and find the power to move this chariot. On the bottom, you know, we got the Three of Pentacles. You're wanting to work with someone on a relationship. That's basically what I get. So, I mean, it's not... Yeah, that's not a bad reading, Pisces. So, yeah. Okay, on to Earth. And we will start with Taurus. Our Earth signs, Taurus. And these are all um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Saturn. So you may want to check your birth chart. Taurus. Ooh, 
Ooh, Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Boy, that one's been popping up a lot. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This is offering emotion. This is, yeah, somebody's got this, you know, this cup full of love that they want to offer. You see all this water here? This is emotion. Someone has a lot of love for someone. Whether that's you or your person. Six of Pentacles. They feel that this is balanced. They feel, or you feel, that this is balanced. This is... <sighs> I just got perfect ratio. <laughs> you know, it's like it's a balanced give and take. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to be moving in your favor. Going forward. New beginning. So, Taurus, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Virgo. For my Virgos. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Somebody's walking away. They're walking away from a connection. Walking away. I feel like someone wants to communicate. But I feel like, you know, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is a death of a pattern. Or, yes, yes, a pattern. A way. Um... Yes, pattern. I feel like that's why the death card's here. And you know, with every death, there's a new beginning. You see that the sun's coming up. So I feel like this is, yeah, this is working on oneself. Um, stopping a pattern. Stopping something that makes you feel left out in the cold. With the card on the bottom. The Five of Pentacles. So that's what I feel that that is, Virgo. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, it may look like it, but it's really not because that's how you move forward. That's how you 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 get past bad um, patterns so that you can move forward in the way that you want to, not keep replaying the bad patterns. Capricorn. Capricorn. There we go. This card keeps popping up every time. Look at that. Six of Pentacles. Oh, you got the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Okay. You know, I feel like you're wanting equal give and take. You want balance. You want growth. You want a relationship where everything is going to be equal. And I feel like you are turning away this offer because it does not feel equally balanced. It does not feel fulfilling to you. But I do feel like someone else will be, you know, in the scene that you will be connecting with. With our Six of Cups. So that's what I got for you. Capricorn and all these readings I think they turned out well if they do not resonate don't try to make them fit your life and um, give it a thumbs up that way YouTube moves along and have an awesome awesome day bye